These are some of Faraday's objects that we've got in our, on display in our collections. I'm interested in flooring because it represents one of the very few failures that Michael Faraday, who worked in the Royal Institution uh, in the early part of the 19th century, made. In 1834 and 1835, he sought to isolate flooring using the sorts of electrochemical techniques that David used to isolate sodium and potassium uh, a generation or so before. Faraday was an extraordinarily meticulous worker. He kept a very detailed set of laboratory uh, notes which ultimately ran to just over 16,000 paragraphs that he numbered. But fluorine is an extraordinarily reactive substance. It was first discovered, well the mineral which contained fluorine was first discovered in late 18th century. And people sought to try and isolate uh, fluorine uh, for the following 50 years. And in, the, in 1834 and 1835, Faraday spent a huge amount of time trying to isolate fluorine for the first time. This is the his entry for the 10th of February 1834, paragraph uh, 1477, starting with the wonderful line Works for fluorine. Used a small, strong platina vessel like a little crucible, and having made a tube of platina soldered by gold, soldered it onto the former. Adjusted a thick plat wire P so as to go into it touching nowhere but dipping into fused fluoride of lead, which was kept in that state within, by the heat of a spirit lamp without. And what Faraday basically honed in on, as a sort of method to try and isolate fluorine, was to uh, heat up lead fluoride, and it's really, really surprising that when he got molten lead fluoride, he didn't sort of die as a consequence of so sort of really, well, really well nasty materials, and then use electrolysis uh, to try and dissociate the fluorine uh, out, of the, out of the compound. So here you have this uh, spirit lamp down there, uh, taking off electric uh, current there, positive pole there, negative pole there. But the problem with fluorine is it's such a, it is such a reactive substance that as soon as it is liberated, it will react with another gas, like oxygen for example, uh, and so Faraday never ever got um, pure fluorine. Uh, and indeed it was such a difficult problem that it took another 50 years before Henri Moissan, uh, a French chemist, in 1886 isolated fluorine for the first time, and for that he won the Nobel Prize in the early 20th century.